Yep, the Batmobile is still here. First flight of the day, we're going from Alicante up to Barcelona. You've always felt like a part of you has gone missing. I know it's real, but I'm telling you, it's closer than you know. I'm really trying to keep it cool now. Yeah. My next flight has already started boarding. This should be fun. Last one on the plane, but we made it. Flight number two, Barcelona to Bilbao. And welcome to Bilbao. I've got my bag in the back. It's easy, it's easy. After a 4.30 start, two flights, we are not in uh, We are not in Calpe this morning. I met up with Tim. Where are we, Tim? We're in northern Spain somewhere, we aren't we? We are just outside San Sebastian. So we're very kindly invited to Orica in San Sebastian, or just outside San Sebastian, because I think today we're going to be testing a new turbo trainer. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi, Cameron. Hi, I can be like the Mexican guy there. <laughs> Uh, Anaki, welcome to the videos. Thank you. Um, so this is your product, yeah. the, the Orica trainer. Yeah, uh, this is our product. We started the company two years ago. Yeah. And the main advantages of the system are three, let's say. The first one is that you have a free riding. So in that way, you can move the bicycle exactly the same as on the road. I mean, you can stand up, you can sprint. Yeah. And if you, in case you want just to relax and be seated, you can do it. You have exactly the same kinematics. Yeah. The main advantage is that after one hour of pedaling, all your body is exactly the same as on the road. So you don't have any stress in the muscles, or you don't have any, let's say, a strange pain in your body yeah. because your body is exactly the same as it was riding on the road. The second advantage is that you can go for power training. So in case you say, oh, it's like rollers, no, it's not. So you can go in really, really high power training at really low speed. So in case you want to make your work workouts, yeah. you can do here all the series. Okay. So warming 200 watts, let's do some series 400 watts and yeah, yeah, yeah. back, you can do it. So it's a really a good tool for power training. And the final one is that it's a really easy and safe system. It's easy because just to start it, put your bike on and yeah. start pedaling. Yeah. And if you want to stop, it is us on the road, just breaking. The system will stop because it hasn't any inertia. There is not any flywheel. Can you just show us how you connect the bike to the system? Yeah, sure. So the only thing you need to do is just to change the axle. Yeah. So it can be, let's say, a standard caliper or as well it can be a disc. Yeah. And once you have changed it, you take the rear arm, you beat it, connect it. Yeah. And once it's connected, just and it's done. And it's ready to go? Yeah. So how does this system vary to the tax equivalent? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are two main, uh, three main... Uh, Can you use the T word? <laughs> uh, advantages, one uh, or the differences. One is the performance, okay. and the other one is the safety. From performance point of view, here you can do power training, I mean, because you are moving the band, as I said before. You so there's no, there's no motor control in the belt, it's you, only your pedaling? That's it. We, this system has two sensors, one okay. from the rear, that is controlling yeah. how much you are pulling, and one in the front, which is controlling what is the speed. Yeah. And according to the wattage that you want to train, we control the resistance. So in this way, you can go really high power at really low speed. Okay. So this is something that you cannot do in other trainers. Second point is super safe. So because as there is not any flywheel and you can, let's say, stop just braking, you can do an emergency stop. So in case you are at 30K, you need to brake, yeah. you stop immediately and it's super safe. In other systems, it doesn't happen. Tim's 
first ever well, attempt. Well, well, well. <laughs> that takes some getting used to, doesn't it? If you're not going anywhere, no. my brain thinks I'm on a kicker or on a Neo or something. And then. But everything is here. But yeah, everything is here. You just need to engage it. See how wobbly we can get. Sounds good. Let's take, let's take the hand now. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Look at those knees. It's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> One eternity later. <laughs> wow, the concentration on my face must be insane. Now I've got to look at a screen as well. Cam, are you ready for this? Yeah, what are your first thoughts? I have you? never spent so long staring at my front wheel to try a balance, even on, ro <laughs> even on rollers. Yeah, how does it feel? This is awesome. <laughs> I can see one of us getting injured today. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not going to be me. I can feel my core stability working as well, like my muscles in my stomach. How hard can it be? <laughs> What? <laughs> and here we have Cam Jeffers showing off. Oh, how many times did it take you to do it? <laughs> this is take seven. This is take one, mate. That's really weird. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's so cool. Is it possible to stand up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, feel free. I mean, I did it before for you, so. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. No, I don't either. Well, that's a real experience, isn't it? Because you're moving like you would on the road. But nothing else is moving. But nothing else is moving. Remember, a 55 we we rolling on exponential weight. Oh, now I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Riding the trainer for about half an hour. We got pretty familiar, we kitted up and we're on Bronze Whip. Gonna do a bit of a session here. We're going to do 150 watts, we're taking it nice and easy. Yeah, I'm coming to grips. It took, it took about five or ten minutes of getting used to it, but I mean, now I can do no hands and everything. Just nearly. Requires a lot of concentration. Yeah, man, look how good it is. Uh, yeah, feel it. So, we just started climbing on Zwift, and the way this trainer works, right, it's gone up to 8%, and it feels like 8%. We're going to have to pedal quite fast to keep moving. Uh, so, like a smart trainer would. When you approach it, when you start climbing the hill, the resistance increases, and it's literally like riding the hill. We're doing 12%. Does it feel like 12%? <laughs> yep. It feels like I'm about to stop pedaling and fall over. <laughs> like the belt's about to stop. It's uh, it's surprisingly like realistic. You've got like that lateral movement, but you don't get with a standard turbo trainer. It's a little bit noisy. It's like riding a pair of rollers, but yeah, man, this is cool. When we get a close up of my face, people can see I can actually try him. <laughs> you can see sweat starting to bead. How long is this climb going for? Uh, 500 more meters. <laughs> oh. Imagine if you're on a treadmill. So one of the things that I was worried about was being on 
quite a narrow platform. I thought I was going to go over to the side, but I really haven't. I'm not really concentrating and keeping fit line. Like I'm quite happy just looking at you talking to the camera and like you stay relatively close in the middle. But I guess when you think about when you're riding on the road, you're not swerving about everywhere anyway. If you're riding next to the white line, you can quite easily ride like within a few inches of the white line. So do you think your subconscious, if you're like your core strength is what's keeping you straight? Right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just like, it's literally just like, like riding on the road. I know it's cliche, but... So at the moment, Cam is making the belt move by how much he's pedaling. And the harder I pedal, the faster the belt goes. And to stop, all you need to do is pull brakes. Yeah, so easy, man. Like literally, so easy. It makes a cool noise as well. Which yeah, is, like yeah, that's like half the important it's thing. Like skidding, isn't yeah. it? Like rubber. <laughs> a proper, proper so, little ten minute sesh. Do you think because you're using your core to stay flat, it's more of a workout? Yeah, that, yeah. You're constantly you you like engaging your core without really thinking about it. You obviously you're trying to keep, you keep it in a straight line. You have got to keep it in a straight line. And you're balancing in, with your knees and your yeah and your hips and all that. Yeah. Rather than just smashing the pedals on yeah. it. No, I, de I definitely feel it in my core as well as my legs right now. <laughs> I've only done 10 minutes. <laughs> and you're going downhill. I'm going downhill. <laughs> so at the minute we use it, we're on Zwift, which obviously it's like a smart trainer is. So as you go up a climb, it automatically adjusts the resi resistance. But if we're not using Zwift or you know, we want to do an interval session, we want to adjust the resistance by hand, we've got an app here. On our, on our phone with a plus and a minus and we can simply just adjust the resistance and the gradient like with the tap of a finger and it yeah how does it connect to the is it through bluetooth so it connects through bluetooth to the trainer yeah that's pretty cool Testing of the Orca training system is the brand new Orbea Orca Aero with the um, also brand new Campag Super Record 12 speed. I've not even got that many fingers on my hand. So how long did you spend developing the product? How long has it taken to get here? July 2014. Yeah, that was the pattern. Now we started sales 2017. Yeah, yeah. So it's for sale now. People can buy it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the, in this moment, it's available. <laughs> Tim, you can only you can only act up like this in your own office, not not in someone else's. This isn't cycling up now. Tinaki loves it. We'd like to buy your chairs. Up here. <laughs> we need these in the cycling hub office. Yeah, we do. But have we got carpet on the floor? So yeah, we we need to we need a whole new office. Yeah. Maybe I'll, we just move to. We just moved to San Sebastian, moved the whole site and up to San Sebastian, down the end of the office, and we can just do this with it. Just, just so we can have these chairs. <laughs> and we thought we could, uh, we could double up on it. Yeah. See you in a bit, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank, you. thank you for your... your no, yeah. thanks yeah. to you. Okay, so that's our day at Orica done and dusted. We are in the town or the city of San Sebastian now. There's quite a famous race that comes through here. It starts here or finishes here. San Sebastian Classica. Classica. I uh, want to say a Yates brother has won it. Yes, Adam, Adam Yates, I believe, a few years ago, 2014. That's probably when wrong. he didn't realise. Uh, but yeah, we're here for one night and then tomorrow we're heading to see to visit a very well known cycling Brand. manufacturer. It's a bike. Bike manufacturer. Bike manufacturer. Stay tuned. Fun. Stay tuned for that. You can probably guess if you know your bike manufacturers. <laughs> and we're in. And we're in San Sebastian. And we're in the Basque country. <laughs> and yeah, that's the end of today's video. Tim, anything else you want to add? No. And not nothing about no, the weather. No. So, the weather is distinctly Blackpool in mid-November. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Bilbao. Oh, sorry, San Sebastian. <laughs>